This is tutorial 6, Review Assignment. We begin by opening a file called OR and then do a file Save As. Save this file back in the original review folder where you found it and rename it Oregon, spelling it out. Then fill out your name in the documentation sheet and today's date in cells B3 and B4. Take a look at quarter one. You'll notice that we have here sales for the first quarter for this theme park. And if you look at quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four, you'll notice that all of the information for the four quarters looks set up in a similar way, although the actual numbers of tickets sold and the amount, so, uh, amount of the sales differs in each quarter. So what we're asked to do in step three is to create a worksheet group. To group adjacent sheets, you click on the first sheet and you shift click on the last one. That groups these four sheets together. You'll notice in your title bar that it says group to indicate that these are grouped together. Now what this is like is having four sheets of paper with tracing paper between them. So anything that you do to one sheet goes through to all four sheets. And that's exactly what we want when we begin to format them. In step four, they ask us to insert formulas in row 13 to total each column. So I'll highlight those four columns. And using my home tab, I'll do an auto sum. Next, in step 5a, we're asked to bold the headings A1 through B2. Again, that's in the Home tab. And then to also bold A6 through A13. And by the way, rather than repeating this bold instruction, if you press the F4 function key, it will repeat the last formatting instruction. And then finally, they want us to bold B4 through E3, so these headings. And I'll press F4 this time to show you how that works. Going on to step 5B, we're asked to merge and center the information here, global travel. So you begin by highlighting the four columns, in a sense giving it a left and right margin. Go to your Home tab and under Alignment, choose Merge and Center. You'll do the same thing here, Home, Merge and Center. Then they also asked us to merge this ticket sold across B and C. I'll try the F4 function key to repeat that. We'll do it again here for columns D and E. And then the headings in row 5 will be simply centered, not merged and centered. They ask us to format the range A6 through A12, so we're leaving out the total here, in italics. So that's home, and we'll use italics, or you could use control I as a shortcut for italics. In step 5D, we're going to add a top and double bottom border to the range in row 13. So I'm going to highlight these totals and then go to my Home tab and using the border command, I'll go right here to the top and double bottom border and click that. Now I have to click away so you can see and you can see I have a double bottom and a single border above the total row. It tells us in step E to add a fill color to B1 through E2. And they ask us to use orange. So I'll go here to my fill color, and it doesn't really matter which orange you choose. I'm going to go for this orange accent 6. And then if I scroll up a little bit, you'll be able to see. Our letter F says to apply the accounting format with no decimal places to D6 through E13. So we'll highlight the numbers and columns D and E. We will choose our accounting format, but they want no decimals, so we can just decrease decimal twice to reduce those decimals off of that range. 
Moving on to step six, they want us to make a copy of quarter one, but it's very important before you do that that you ungroup. So to ungroup, you can simply click on a sheet tab that's not in the group, or you could right click on the sheet tab and choose ungroup sheets. So now we're ungrouped and we're ready to move to step six to make a copy of the quarter one worksheet. Several ways to do that. One way is to right click on the sheet tab, the quarter one, choose move or copy. Position where you want it, I want it to be before quarter one and after documentation. Be sure to click this create a copy and click OK. That makes a copy of the quarter one worksheet. However, because you can't have two sheet tabs with the same name, this one has an two that's been added to the name. I'll just double click and type in summary and rename that sheet the summary sheet. Now we want to remove the information that had to do with quarter one. So for example, we want to take out quarter one in row two and type in total. They also want us to put fiscal year 2013 in cell A2. We want to remove all of the data that's here because this is the quarter one information. So I'll just highlight it and delete it. And notice that I left the total formulas in because when I get my summary information in this sheet, moving on to step eight, we're going to enter formulas to reference labels in cells A1 and A2 of the summary worksheet. So I'm going to group quarter one through quarter four. And we've already got Oregon in A1, but we can add fiscal year 2013. And because they're grouped, that goes across each quarter. I'll ungroup and go to the summary sheet. And now we're ready for step nine. We'll begin by going to cell B6 and creating a formula that will sum up the adult animal habitat tickets sold for quarters one through four. Here's how you'll do that. Equal, sum, and open your parentheses. We want the range of the sheets first. So we'll click on quarter one and we'll shift click on quarter four. Now it looks confusing because we actually moved over to quarter one, but if you just pay attention to your formula bar, you'll be fine. And then we'll click on B6 and press enter. And you can see how you were returned to the summary sheet and then your adult tickets were summarized. So here's the sum of quarter one through quarter four, cell B6. Then you can take your formula, fill it to the right, double click the fill handle and fill it down. This is a good time to save. I'll use my control S shortcut key to save. In step 10, they ask us to prepare all five worksheets for printing. So let's begin by grouping them. So summary is already selected. I'll shift click to group all five worksheets. And then I'm going to go into the header and footer area. One way to do that is to go to page layout and click the more button here in the page setup group. Your header and footer tab is here and you can create a custom header. So in our header, what they want us to do is on separate lines in the right section, they want us to have the name of the workbook and a way to do that is just simply to click insert file name and then on a separate line, so I'll press enter, they want us to insert the sheet tab name. So I'll click this button and that creates a code that will insert that information. Click OK and you can see a preview of it. Let's look at a custom footer. Again in the right section, they want you to type your name, press enter and insert the date. We'll use the insert date button to have that automated. And so there's our footer, there's our header, and from here we can print preview and see what this would look like were we to print. You should have five sheets.
and each of them should have the appropriate header and footer. And at this point, you would just click your print button. The default is to print the active sheets, and since they're grouped, that would print all five of them. In step 11, we ungroup, so I'll click on the documentation sheet because it's not in the group, and then we'll save with a control S, and they ask us to open another file called the Northwest Totals 2013. So I'll do a file open, and here's our Northwest Totals 2013, and they want us to save this spelling out Northwest. So same name, just spelling out Northwest. So we'll do a save as, saving it in our review folder, and I'll just spell out Northwest. Click Save, and here in the documentation sheet, I'll zoom in a little so you can see better, they ask us to fill out our name where it says author, and to put today's date in cell B4. It says in the summary worksheet to enter external reference formulas. So in other words, what they want us to do is to add up the three states, Oregon, Washington, and Idaho, and to put the sum of its animal habitat adult tickets here. You can do this without the other files being open. However, it is easier if they are open. So I'm going to go ahead and open those other files. So I'll open Idaho, and I'll do a file open, and I will open Washington. We've already got Oregon open. So now I have four worksheets open. A quick way to view them all at the same time is to choose the View tab and then to select Arrange All. The default arrangement is tiled. And